Rollin, 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 rollin. Rollin, Rolstons, rollin, rollin, Rolstons. Wait. Rollin, Rolstons, rollin, rollin, rollin. Rollin, 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 keep them doggies rollin. Ride. Why are they called doggies? I don't know. Doggies, doggies, whatever. I was playing cards with some friends today, and I showed them my painting, what I did a while ago, and they laughed. One of your blob paintings. <laughs> yeah, what did they say? Worms? No, what did you call it? <laughs> what did you call it? I named the painting. Well, Do bears shit in the woods? <laughs> Kind of like worms. <laughs> uh, Dave would have liked that painting. <laughs> he would have had interesting things to say about that yep. painting. Yep. First anniversary of the departure of Dave. It's not nice. Well... What can you do? I watched, we watched um, Julian's tribute. Mm -hmm. We saw ourselves. Yeah, there were a lot of people there. We heard ourselves singing, Lick It Up. Yes. Everyone was laughing. Yes. You know what I thought was kind of odd? <sighs> when you watch something like that and you notice who wasn't there, who you thought would have been there. You look through all the people and, you know, you see all these different faces and you go, yep, yep, yep. And eventually you kind of go, hey, wait a minute. There's a few people I would have expected to see who were not there. I think some people were just too private to share grief. You know, some people cannot uh, just, it's overwhelming to be seen in pain or have that much sympathy. It's just too much stimulation, I think, for some people. Don't, don't, can't cope with that. Perhaps. I felt very comforted. I was thinking this morning, this is when we would have seen Gorilla. This is when I would have gone to breakfast with the gang. Mm, not today, though. It would have been later. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right. Tuesday? Tuesday, we found out. No, it would have been on the weekend, I think. If I remember, it was on weekend, early morning on a Sunday, I think, that we did the screening. Well, hmm. He sat right here where I'm sitting. Yeah, he did. Can never sell this couch. Can't oh. even clean it. Well, we could sell it on eBay. We could get a lot of money. Yeah, maybe. From the gorilla fans. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Dave might find that funny. If we ever want to shoot a feature film, we'll sell this couch to raise money. <laughs> Although I think our filmmaking days may be numbered. Yeah, I th think so too. And then you'll say to me something completely different the next day. Well. Why do you think that? Well, I think it's an evolution. When I first started making movies, when we first made a movie, we thought it would be fairly easy to do. 2008. 2007. Oh. And... The more work we've done, the more we realize it takes a team with a professional attitude across the board. And... Like we had for Dead Man Talking. Dead Man Talking would be a very good example. But it's hard to get a group of people together with, and have them behave professionally across the board without a budget. And consequently, I find myself... 
Mm, I don't want to do it less than professionally across the board, so... Uh, we don't have three gazillion dollars to hire. <laughs> we don't have the budget, so uh, I might be done. Because I don't want to do these by the seat of my pants shoots anymore. Maybe you could teach me how to shoot. I'm oh, and let you do the seat of your pants shoots. <laughs> seat of my pants. I just want to make one. I'd like to uh, learn enough so I can do the editing part. I'd like to do the shooting. Uh, I can't do sound and shooting, so I'd have to someone do that. Maybe I'll just have a silent movie. But I'd like to, uh, I like watching you edit. I like when you say, oh, I, I just watch this. And then bing, 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 something really cool happens that I couldn't even see. So maybe I won't even be able to do that. It'd be like learning, what's that game today? Cribbage. Cribbage. I learned cribbage today. I can't count to save my fucking soul. But I had three understanding patient people counting for me adding for me and that was good so um yeah maybe you'd have fun teaching me uh, mm. uh for me it's it's gonna it would bother if anything would bother me it would be the in the editing process seeing the things that didn't work that i knew could have worked had there been a professional approach to shooting it and the trick I mean if I can find people who like for example sound I don't believe sound can be done by one person sound requires two people to be done well one person's focused totally on the placement of the microphone the other person's monitoring the levels I don't believe for a moment one person can do both properly no we have to have Emily and Zach or two somebody's yeah you know? and the sound person needs to be the one who's listening, needs to be somebody who really, in my opinion, is concerned about the quality of the sound and is willing to say, nope, that takes no good because I heard X or heard Y or heard Z. Or there was, you know, and some of that could be the challenge of if it's being handheld, the boom, the, you know, movement of the boom. Sometimes the, the holder of the boom imparts sound and the sound person who's listening has got to be able to identify that and say no because when you're editing and you're going ah that's a that's a pretty good take from a point of view of delivery acting whatever but there's this weird thing going on with the sound and if you have to start messing around trying to fix that especially if it's over top of dialogue you're never going to fix it so if your sound people can't tell you that takes no good because the sound's no good and if the camera you know what it is to people that are brutally honest. Yes. And those people are in short fucking supply. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. And people who can take brutal honesty are in short fucking supply, which is my problem. You know, Dead Man Talking was a gem because everybody was thinking um, how to make it better mm -hmm. for each other and for... Uh, the crew, like even the, e not even, but especially the actors were being, um, not, not just considerate, but insightful. Mm -hmm. and it, one not of the, just of acting, but of everything. One of the neat things was going back to Joshua Robert Bateman after the shoot, and he, I, I, I gave him a, a look at the assembled movie and he said, oh, you know, he could see where I switched around some things in the script. And he goes, oh, yeah, I like what you did there. Uh, that, was, that was better than what I gave you. Oh, this other thing here, that was neat. I didn't think of that. That was, that was a good, you know, a good change. There were some things he would have liked to have seen. I, I, he pointed out that was nice to hear. It's like, oh, you know, too bad you didn't shoot this. And I realized some of the things he was telling me, yeah, it would have been good if I'd shot this or shot that. But it would have been good to have him on set. But it didn't work out. But, yeah, there was a lot of different people involved who were very much there to produce a certain result, not just there to hang around and be part of a shoot because they had nothing better to do. They were there committed to a quality product. And it seemed like their number one concern was the quality product. And I find 
that can be challenging to get together a group of people who are focused that way. So I had very, very good fortune. I'm sorry, Dave, that you're not here to see this DG60 and that you weren't in the audience to see the one from last year that you were in and you were really good in. Yep. That was also a good um, movie, short movie. Was good. I, I, like, I like watching that. I like watching Dave in that. There's some... Polar bears eating you. <laughs> yeah, I liked what he did with that. Uh, yeah. Sorry I'm late. So, do I know this punk? Not yet, my friend. But you will in the end. Which reminds me, you? You're dead to me, princess. But baby, I was bringing you the money, honest. Sure, sure, whatever. Cute kid. Adorable. I need you to kill someone for me. Oh, terminal brain cancer. Ah, oh, that's hobo's luck, kid. <laughs> you're, you're kind of fucked, not to mention the fact that you'll be wearing diapers for the rest of your life. Whoa! Lady, what was the story with that? Your unkind rap deserved a slap. Not to mention you're gonna be a drooling idiot. I don't even want to know about him. What? If I were you, kid, I would be worried more about the intense pain. Imagine polar bears eating you all day long. First thing in the morning, polar bears are eating you. Go to bed at night, polar bears still eating you. Nom 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 nom, polar bears all day long. Mm. That's why I need you to kill me. Ice a kid. How much? He'll draft a bill and then he'll kill. You have got to stop with the rhyming. Lime, dime, time, rhyme. Oh, that's it, enough. Really? How old are you two anyway? Immortal, I'm immortal. Not a rhyme, dickweed. <laughs>